but you work and you do cash jobs and you make up for it. Hey, I got to pay the bills just like you do for your family, don't I? So why don't you work like a legit man? He doesn't he work. He's a, he's, a a contract. he's a contractor, no, that, but it's all cash no, money. No, 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 he, buys, he buys his mom's his mom's insulin, okay? This guy does a lot that you guys don't even yeah, know. Yeah, but he does it all under the <laughs> table. He doesn't do legit. He doesn't pay taxes. Listen, Fox man, in the United in the United States, you have to reach a certain amount of income before you even begin to file. Okay, and then once you reach that level of income, then you file. Everybody in the United States doesn't file taxes, Fox man. And oh. In Canada, I don't know how it works. Everybody, has to, it, it, everybody to has to file. Everybody has to file. Everybody has to file in Canada. Yeah. If you make below a certain amount, you don't have to file. It's below the poverty level, Fox. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Okay. So you don't have to pay taxes if you if you make below the poverty level. Yeah. It says right on the it says right on the tax form if you're below a certain amount. I, I forget what what the amount is exactly. I'll look it up. But if you're below that amount, you don't even have to file. And now yeah, they got they got earn, earn income tax credit too. Also, if you if you don't make enough, the government will send you more money. You understand when you when you file your return, if you don't make a certain amount of dollars, then you get earned income tax credit, and they'll send you thousands back. But you have to file to get that, and you have to know you know you have to to, to make that amount to be able to get it back. Uh, I did not Everybody know that. that does it. That's why. Well, why do you why do you think all these women have all these babies and stuff like that? Because what happens is they have to make a certain amount of income in order to pay for all that, and when they don't, they get an earned income tax credit back from the government for each kid they have. I didn't know that. I didn't know that yeah. about the, the United States. It's different here in Canada. Hey, hey, Fox man. You, if you make one dollar, you gotta file. Fox man, put it this you, way. If you have, you know, if you if your if your mother is Jewish, totally Jewish, and you go back to Israel and you fly to Israel, they'll give you fifty thousand dollars cash just going there. How about that? No, they won't. You want? Hey, yes, they will. Hey, I want if your mother, if, not, if you, if your parents, if your mother is Jewish and you go back to Israel as a citizen and leave the United States, Israel writes you a check for fifty thousand dollars, dude. Hey, Billy Bob, <laughs> let me tell you something, motherfucker. I well, think you can't even. I don't. Let me tell you something to your face, motherfucker. I don't even make twenty thousand dollars a year. I'm way below the poverty level. Billy Bob. How much did you yesterday pandering when you were doing all that stuff with Chris Weil and everything like that? What was that pandering and doing? Chris Weil was a fucking disgrace. That was a fucking disgrace. I can't believe that. How long does this unfold? Disgrace, man. Chris sounds Draco. You know what I mean? Like he was just grooming, just a, it's sickening, disgusting. What you guys did to sexy Chris is a disgrace. Pardon me? What you guys did to, to Chris while is a disgrace. How was it a disgrace? You don't take advantage of someone that has psychological problems to shove a bottle up his ass, promising to give him money, and you never pay him shit. Okay? Listen to me very disgrace. carefully, Warbuck. That's a fucking disgrace. Yeah, that's grieving and pandering. That's kind of like, I think there's a law broke somewhere around there. And I hope that Billy recorded all that and put it up somewhere because I'll tell you what, you could, I, what I could hear on the Skype call and what I heard on your cast yesterday, that was very embarrassing. I don't know why you let that go on. Uh, can, hey, 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 can you please add the miss to the call on Fox? The uh, miss. Miss to the call, please. Why? Because he's a brother. Okay. He's a brother, Adam. Hold on. Let me add him. See what happens is Billy's using the site just to divide the casters. Exactly. Billy, Billy started a new blog. You know what? It's called the Cesspool blog. It's not called Scuttlebutt's blog anymore. It's called the Vaughn Cesspool blog. Billy cast the same time Lardo cast. Well, he had Billy, you, I'll, I'll add the misc. I'll add the misc. This is just, I'm telling you what, you're going to watch that all implode because Lardo's going to get pissed and he's not going to sit back and let Billy turn around and make all this money for Vaughn. And they, they started all that cause to go to iVlog 
and now they're not supporting Lardo, and they've all come running back here and left him behind. There's going to be hell to pay if Ashley could become Weston. Believe me, and Scuttlebutt's not going to stand by and let Billy start another blog and get all the fucking glory. That's not going to happen either, Billy. You can just see what Billy's done. He started his little cast. He's used Warren to rise to the top of the heap a little bit and get a lot of viewers. Spouting his evil. He stepped on Scuttlebutt. He stepped on Lardo. He stepped on everybody. You can just see it. It's all going to unfold here shortly, folks. Get your popcorn. But I still support you, Fox Man. Just so you know, I'm not playing. I'm not playing favorites. I don't care who your friends are. That's not my business. But I do support you, Fox, as a caster. Okay, brother. I do. I I do support you too, man. I do I, support I, I, you. I do. As a, whatever happens, I support you as a caster. And I support you as well, brother. Okay, like that's all we can do as casters is, is support each exactly. other. Exactly. Exactly. I, I don't know Whirlwind. I, I This is the first time I've actually met the man. Whirlwind is the most righteous, loving man I've ever met in my life. Besides we, spoke, we spoke to him on a breakfast cast a while back, back when uh, I think Joe Walsh and everybody was on in the morning. We all talked on a Saturday morning one morning. Real man, real man was on the call too. Cool, cool. Right. But I'm going to tell, tell you something, Fox, right now. Whirlwind is not what everybody's saying he is. He's a very righteous, loving, God-fearing man, a man of his word, a, a, a man of integrity. He's the is, is best friend God could have ever given me on Guam. And I praise God for him. Okay? I praise God for him. That doesn't happen every day, that God gives you a special friend like that in your life. You know what I'm saying, Fox? I know exactly what you said, and I think that was a very noble thing what Whirlwind did. Yes. Um, I'm very humble. Man, I'm telling you oh, one thing. Oh, 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 hold on one second. Mama Pump needs me for one second. I'll call you okay, right back. Okay. I take promise care, you. Take care of your mommy. No, I, I'll yeah. take care of you. I'll, I'll call you right back, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah hold on. Okay, no problem. Okay, I, I got to get out of here because I got to take care of mom. 